Hello everyone, it is me, Alex Axe, and it's Monday. Yay! Um, I know that Monday is not normally a yay thing, but there are a couple reasons that, that I'm like, yay. Um, one of them is that, hey, you can get my book, Hunger Makes the Wolf, um, which is written under the name Alex Wells, for buck ninety nine. Yay! So if you haven't gotten it, please do. And then you can pre-order the sequel, Blood Binds the Pack, and KJ Charles just wrote a review of it, which I think is the first review that's been done because the arcs came out like two days ago and KJ Charles is just like a dynamo and she said super nice things about it. So, oh my God, KJ Charles likes my book. So, yay! Yay! And um, I guess in a way that's like happy birthday to me because yes, it is my birthday. Um, 37 years ago today, I was born squalling into a, a world where Ronald Reagan was president. Um, and, uh, then if you ask my parents, I didn't let them sleep through the night for a really long time, so I, I'm proud to say that after 37 years, I do let people sleep through the night, so go me. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk about just, like, you know, with the birthday thing, kind of what it's like getting older. I guess, um, cause initially I wasn't even going to mention that it was my birthday cause it's kind of weird. Like, like, you know, when you're young, the birthday is a big deal because you're like going towards some kind of goal. Like I'm going to be 18 and then I can like vote and I'm a grown up and no one can tell me to do, or I'm like going to be 16 and I can drive or like 21 and I can drink or 25 and I can rent a car. I mean, I honestly, that's pretty cool. Like rent a car. I mean, without like having to put a big deposit down. Um, but after that, it's like, there isn't really some kind of landmark you feel like you're striving towards. It, it actually is starting to be like, oh god, I'm getting older, which is, you know, closer to death. And, and the only thing that you really kind of have to look forward to age-wise is, oh, at some point I'll get on Medicare and be able to get Social Security, which at this point I'm not counting on being able to do ever, so... But I, I did want to talk about, like, kind of just getting older and growing up and because I, I like I think a lot of people I have spent I've spent a lot of my adult life wondering at what point I'm actually going to feel like an adult and um, I've, I've talked to my parents about this and the answer seems to be never um, you know I think we all have this sort of image about of, of what an adult is and, and it's, you know, sort of like competent and you know what you're going to be, you are what you are going to be and, you know, you're getting shit done and you're taking names and, you know, you're a contributing taxpayer or whatever the fuck. Like a lot of it is kind of like this sort of media image of adulthood, which has its own issues, but we keep waiting to, to be in that state and to also feel like we know where we're going and we know who we are and we know where we belong and what we should be doing and maybe some people get that like I don't know everyone in the world but I think that it's just you you never do um I've asked it's something I've, I've talked to my own parents about and I asked my mom I was like at what point do you feel like a grown-up and she was like basically you don't you just keep kind of faking it and, you know, being like, all right, what am I going to be a grown up? And then one day you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, I still don't feel like an adult, but who the hell is this in the mirror? They sure look like an adult. So I think it's just, you know, you, you never feel like that. Um, and, and it's kind of, you know, to a certain extent, I think that's, that's good because often like adulthood is, is presented as sort of like this very boring thing but it also is sort of like I was promised that at some point I, I could stop feeling like an imposter and and knowing that I'm always going to feel like an imposter about something throughout my life is a little like great maybe that's just part of the human condition um other things I've noticed about kind of getting older uh like I can definitely feel like there has been, a, you know, I in many ways I don't feel like a different person, but it, but I can also feel like there is a distinct difference between where I'm at now and where I was at, like in my mid twenties and earlier. And I think it's it's because um, it's a neurological development thing, because like you are fully done neurologically developing to the best, you know, to my understanding of it, when you're 25, because that's when like you get all your risk assessment shit figured out and and 
that and you understand that which is also why you get to rent cars without a big deposit when you're 25 and if nothing else I did notice that I became a much better driver after 25 um, but I, I can feel like a very distinct difference like like in my my having shit togetherness just like skyrocketed after after my mid 20s and even even when <laughs> at times I have not had my shit together that well like when I've been unemployed or like scrambling in grad school or all that I feel more like I have my shit together and I think one benefit is like having that experience where um, when something happens that that is sucky or stressful I can be like oh my god it really sucks and I know that it's gonna suck for a while but I also know that it is not gonna suck forever that I can get through the suck because I have gotten through suck before and that there will be a day when it will stop sucking like those are, are invaluable life experiences to know that like a, th a terrible thing is happening but I can I can get through it so so that has been like a really kind of nice thing about getting older is is knowing like this this too shall pass like right now I feel low and terrible and awful because of something like emotionally that happened but I know this is not gonna last forever and that I will feel happiness again um, so, so that's like actually a really great thing about getting older. Um, time starts feeling kind of weird, like, like compressy, like, um, I think maybe it's because when, you know, once you are like a boring working adult, your days are not that different. Like you do have the conversation where somebody's like, Hey, so what'd you do today? And you're kind of like, nothing really. Cause my, you know, I went to work and my work is not going to be interested in to you until, unless you're like, you want to know the technical details that you're probably not going to understand. Um, and it really is like the days start getting kind of samey because you're like, well, I get up and I go to work and then I go home and eat dinner and go to bed and then go back to work the next day. So you do like, I have started having that experience where someone will mention something that happened in the nineties and I'm like, Oh, okay, great. You know, that was like 10 years ago. And then I'm like, no, that was over 20 years ago. Like what the fuck? Like, um, uh, we're gonna be on my the 20th anniversary of my high school graduation next year So like it that feels really weird just because it, it stops feeling like a lot of time has passed Even though a lot of fucking time has passed and I'm, I'm not sure what causes that effect other than you know There there aren't that many you know, like maybe there aren't that many milestones in your life Or your brain just starts get you know, you're not having as many new experiences so they don't get like kind of you know marked in your head the same way they used to but that's been kind of a, a weird weird thing um let's see um i've now gotten to the age where i get to start feeling personally attacked every time a young person is like well why are these old people in fandom because i mean i know a lot of times it's, it's directed at fans even older than me but like um I stopped being officially young last year since even the most generous age brackets young stops at at 35 um and I'm definitely like I'm no longer a young voter I'm I don't get to be in the good age bracket anymore though I think my age bracket is is still not doing as bad as some of the older ones um but anyway so like when people are going oh well you know why are these old people in fandom don't you have anything better to do with yourself and it's like I feel bad that there that there is the conception of adulthood that you stop having fun and liking things because you don't I mean there there are probably some people out there that, that go like full 1950s dad adult where they just want to like read the newspaper and watch baseball games or something like not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with if baseball is your fandom go you but like or you know want to be actuarial tables or whatever is is your conception of, of super boring adult shit and there, there are probably some people out there because there is an entire rainbow spectrum of humanity, but I can tell you that just because you get older doesn't mean you lose your capacity to like things and, and like things very passionately. And, you know, I, I think it's, it's kind of terrible that, that there's this idea that fandom is something that you, you should age out of because you shouldn't stop finding joy in things. Um, so please stop you know we're, we're all in this together we you know like a lot of time for some some of the fandoms where it's for an older show um the older fans were here first anyway and um you can still like things when you're older and trust me 
you're going to to be glad that you have the permission to keep liking things when you're older when you inevitably get older because you're gonna fucking get older because everyone gets older but um I do think part of it is maybe that as you get older the way that you use your time or or the time that you have available does change like I no longer have the time to write fanfic like I used to like I'll still write it when I'm super excited about something but it's like a short one shot or whatever you know I don't do like multi-chapter ep epics anymore um or you don't have time to be as as like present in the online fandom as you used to so that means that when you show up people are like why are you here like I, where did you come from and it's like well I've been here this whole time I've just been quiet I also think that that to a certain extent when you get older you you also lose your interest in doing like kind of like the bullshit fandom drama stuff because you're just like I don't have the energy for this and I don't have the time and and you know fandom flame wars are just pointless to a certain extent now I, I know that there are older fans that participate in that stuff and I'm you know whatever if that's how you engage in the fandom I I, I don't understand it but it's it's just like you know you start having less time and more money if you're lucky like I don't currently have much in the way of money because I lost my good job and I'm just kind of keeping on keeping on but anyway like so your life rearranges so the way you interact with the fandom is going to be different than when you were younger and that's also okay as long as you're enjoying things it's just like you know I want you to know that that getting older you you still feel like you and you still like things and you still are passionate about things and you have that capacity to be passionate you know perhaps tempered by the experience of knowing like this too shall pass if, if there's something like horrible going on but like you still enjoy life and, and and you still get excited about stuff like I am so excited about The Last Jedi and I'm so excited about Black Panther and I'm gonna see them opening night like so you you still have that joy and there's nothing weird about that you know may, maybe it's a sacrifice that that some of our parents made because i also do see parents that are in fandom with their kids like at, at like fantasy conventions and stuff and that's pretty cool but maybe other parents like with the the choice that they've made in parenting they they've made that sacrifice where they're like oh well you know i need to be kind of like the sort of like disciplinarian who is who's not necessarily my child's friend i am their parent and so therefore we're not going to be able to do like squeeze stuff together now that's just a guess i don't have my i don't have kids of my own i'm never going to have kids of my own but that's a possibility as to why we get this impression that like you know fandom is a thing that grown-ups don't do well it is so uh, that that's kind of you know another thing I wanted to hit on is just like I, I, I like I said I feel I feel different now than I felt like in my early 20s but since then I I haven't really felt any any different about things like just how much time I have to do stuff has changed and like I mean I still love Star Trek and I still love Star Wars and all, like all this nerdy stuff I, I've kind of gotten out of anime because just I don't know I just don't really care for animation in general so I don't think I don't think necessarily think it's like oh it was a phase thing or like it's because I'm an old fart thing I think I just am not really into animation right now and plus like I stopped going to anime conventions at like the right the ripe old age of 25 because I, I got all crotchety and I was like it's too crowded and loud and I don't like crowds and I don't like it being loud and that's also why I don't go to like comic cons it's not because I'm old it's because I don't like crowds and I have never wanted something so badly in my life that I'm willing to wait in a line for it for 48 hours, so, um, that which is a personal thing, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird, it's also this, this thing where, um, like, you know, I'm 37 and I'm like, I'm going to get even older, because, well, hopefully I'm going to keep getting older, um, and like, uh, I, I'm not that far from 40 and 40 is like a very arbitrary age and it's especially with with like life expectancies getting longer it's not it's not as big a, you know 40 is like the new 30 blah 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 um, but I, I remember when my dad turned 40 we threw him this party and there was like black crepe paper streamers and we gave him a cane because we were little assholes and you know other stuff and my mom dug up this mug that we gave him when he was 40 and she was like oh haha ha, I'm gonna give this to your brother like in a, in a year or two when he turns 40 and I was like haha my brother's going to turn 40 and then it was like 
oh my god, and that means that in two years after that, I'm going to turn 40, and I'm kind of not okay with this, just because it feels like, like, where did the time go? And, and, and you know, obviously, I know that, that 40 is not old, and I've had older people tell me that 40 is not old, and, but you also have to understand that, that I am coming at it from, you know, the, I'm younger thing, and, and 37 is the oldest I've ever been, remarkably enough. So it's just, I know I'm going to get older and, and getting older is definitely better than the alternative, but it, it does feel kind of weird sometimes. So with that, with those thoughts and, and it's okay if you never feel like a grown up and it's okay to keep liking things because liking things is fun and you get to keep having fun. Um, I'm going to sign off because this went way longer than I thought it was going to. So everyone... Have a happy Monday and order Bloodlines the Pack by Alex Wells. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.